Hello, good morning, students, and good morning to all the viewers watching this session of interactive class. So today is my second session of class. In last class, we discussed about IC engines. So, so let us glance once again. So what we discussed in last class, in previous class. So we understand about what is heat engine and how heat engine is classified as external combustion engine and internal combustion engine and how to define internal combustion engine and what are the main components of internal combustion engine and what are the different functions of that each part each part and what are the different materials used for manufacturing that individual parts and how IC engines are classified depending upon different factors and parameters and how the terminology of the IC engine is defined. That means what are the technical specification of IC engine, uh, how to uh, describe the dimensions of the IC engine like that. That means about what is bore, what is top dead center, what is bottom dead center, what is stroke volume, what is clearance volume, and etc. So we discussed. I hope you understand well about the previous class. Today we will see operations of IC engine, this working cycle of IC engine, and how IC engines are working, how two stroke engine is working, how four stroke engine is working, that means how four stroke petrol engine and diesel engine is working, how two stroke petrol engine and diesel engine is working, and what is the advantage of two stroke engine or four stroke engine and what will be the difference between petrol engine and diesel engine and the comparison between four stroke and two stroke engine in this session we will cover see first of all working cycle working operation operations of the ic engine so what is the operation of the ic engine so as we know in internal combustion engine the fuel is going to combustion or burn inside the engine cylinder inside the engine cylinder then how the fuel is injected into the cylinder how it is burning after burning how that burnt gases are removed from the cylinder so all this constitutes one operations operations so they termed as working cycle working cycle that means the operations of the IC engine. So they are, so let us see. The working cycle. See here, there are four operations that takes place in order to complete one working cycle. So four operations means suction, compression, expansion, and the exhaust. So you are looking at, see, these operations are takes place in the same order. That means section after section, compression has to take place, after compression, expansion only takes place, and the exhaust. Like this, so this order will not change. Okay. But the working, the stroke may be starts from any point, from any point. Okay. So, what is working cycle? What is working cycle? See, cycle we already studied in a third unit, yes, yes, standard cycles. So, there we understand what do you mean by thermodynamic cycle. So, thermodynamic cycle is a series of operations, series of process takes place in some order and ends at the initial point from where the process has started. So that is called as, that loop is called as cycle, thermodynamic cycle. So here, four processes are there, suction process, compression process, expansion process, and exhaust process. These processes constitute one cycle, one cycle of operation. See, you understand, one cycle means, so what are the operations coming in that? Suction, compression, expansion, 
takes us. In the same order, you should say. So you remember very well it's operations of the operations of the okay. next. Instruction stroke, instruction, instruction operation. So the fuel is the fuel is supplied to the cylinder. Fuel is supplied to the cylinder. In compression stroke, so the fuel supplied to the cylinder is getting compressed. Is getting compressed. Okay, so to some pressure. So that is compression ratio is different for um, petrol engine and diesel engine. That I will tell you uh, while working of separate engines. And ignition, see, at the end of compression, so ignition of fuel takes place. Ignition of fuel takes place. Therefore, the power develops. Power develops. See, by burning of fuel. Power develops by burning of fuel. So, due to burning of fuel, that is hitting on the piston, that pushes the piston to other side. So, that is called as expansion process, expansion stroke or working stroke working stroke okay so next after burning of the fuel the products of combustion will remain inside the cylinder so they are extracted exhausted they are pushed out from the cylinder so that process that operation is called as exhaustion exhaustion again after exhaustion the section will repeat section will repeat like this the cycle will continue suction compression expansion and exhaust now this is the indicated diagram or pv diagram for petrol engine for four stroke petrol engine that means this is the pv diagram pressure volume diagram pressure volume diagram that means it is a working principle of petrol engine. Petrol engines are working on the principle of auto cycle. Petrol engines are working on the principle of auto cycles. So this auto cycle is also called as constant volume cycle. Constant volume cycle. Okay. See, you can see in this fluid diagram. First, it consists of one, two, three, four, five, five. Again, from five to one. So one to two, that is suction process. From two to three, it is compression process. Again, from three to four, that is heating process, that is ignition process. From four to five, it is called as expansion process, expansion process. After expansion, from five to one, that is called as exhaust process. Again, that cycle repeats, suction, compression, expansion, exhaust. So this is the principle of petrol engine. Petrol engine is working on auto cycle or constant volume cycle. Auto, auto is a um, name of the German mechanical engineer who invented this four stroke petrol engine in 1876. In 1876. Okay. So this is the principle of petrol engine. Now, Now, let us understand what is two-stroke engine and four-stroke engine. What do you mean by two-stroke engine and four-stroke engine? So, we already defined what is stroke. Stroke means it is a moment of piston either from BDC to TDC or TDC to BDC is said to be one stroke. During one stroke of piston, crank revolves by half revolution. Crank makes only half revolution, that is 180 degree, 180 degree. Okay. See, with, with respect to the number of stroke, how to define two stroke engine means the engine in which the cycle, the working cycle is completed in two strokes of piston. The engine in which the working cycle completes by two strokes of piston, then it is called as 
two stroke engine are you understand say once again i'll repeat say define two stroke engine how to define it the engine in which the cycle of operation the cycle of operation means within rocket suction compression expansion exhaust these four operations are completed by two strokes of piston two strokes of piston or one revolution of crank one revolution of crank is called as two stroke engine one revolution of crank okay so this is called as two stroke engine then we will understand what is four stroke engine now we can easily say what is four stroke engine okay so the cycle or engine in which the cycle the working cycle is completed by four strokes of piston four strokes of piston then it is called as four stroke engine okay so the engine in which the cycle of operations is completed by four strokes of piston or two revolution of crank two revolution of crank is called as four stroke engine two stroke engine four stroke engine see in four stroke engine there are four operation and four strokes therefore each process each operation takes place in each stroke in each stroke whereas in two stroke engine there are four operation only two strokes therefore two operation takes place in one stroke okay in one stroke two operation takes place in another stroke another two operation takes place like this the working cycle is completed okay so this is very important question so define two stroke engine and four stroke engine okay now let us see how these engines are working how these engines are working that means construction and working of four stroke petrol engine and four stroke diesel engine first of all let us say four stroke petrol engine four stroke petrol engine okay so uh, before understanding this four stroke petrol engine first let us watch uh, one video clip so about this four stroke petrol engine and then we'll come back and we'll discuss See, you can observe here in this video. So, first, the basic components is labeling. Then, you can observe here the cut model. So, the, this is very effective to understand because this is animation. So, uh, it easily understand you can see say how it is operating how piston is moving from tdc to bdc and how inlet walls and outlet walls are there and what is the cylinder and how the walls are operating how, it, how the connecting rod is fitted so you can see the crank that is mounted on the crankshaft. So this is first row. 
See, in this stroke, see, Now you can see the piston is going from KDC to PDC. So uh, inlet valve opens and air petrol mixture is drawn into the cylinder. Okay, this is called as first stroke. First stroke, that is called as suction stroke. Now this piston is moving from PDC to TDC and the mixture is get compressed. You can see at the center of spark plug is there. Okay, so burning takes place, the fuel burning takes place. So power develops and pushes the piston downwards. So that is called as expansion stroke. Now the piston is moving upwards. See the exhaust valve opens, the burnt gases are going outside from the cylinder. Okay. See, see once again how it is operating. So suction, compression, ignition. A expansion exhaust suction compression ignition expansion exhaust it is a four stroke petrol engine it is a four stroke petrol engine see the arrangement of crank crankshaft cylinder etc now i think in uh, all colleges so uh, the cut models of ICNGs will be there. So after this class, you go and um, see that cut models. So you observe that how the cylinder is, how the uh, uh, cylinder block, cylinder cover, connecting rod, crank, etc. You observe it. So in every college, I think uh, it will be there. That cut models will be there in the labs. Okay. So you go and see that. So now I think you by this animation, uh, you understand little operation of this uh, four stroke petrol engine. Now I will explain so very slowly uh, about this four stroke petrol engine. See, first of all, you see the suction stroke. Suction stroke. First of all, let us understand what is the construction of four stroke petrol engine. The four stroke petrol engine consists cylinder. Consists cylinder. At the top of the cylinder, cylinder block is cylinder cover is fitted, cylinder cast iron cylinder cover is fitted with airtight gasket, airtight gasket. So that cylinder head accommodates two valves. One is inlet valve and other one is outlet valve. At the center of inlet and outlet valve, there is one ignition device that is called a spark plug is fitted. Spark plug is fitted. So those two walls are operated by opening and closing by means of a cam mechanism. Cam mechanism, that cam is drive by crankshaft. Next, inside the cylinder, there is a cylindrical element called piston is reciprocating. Is reciprocating up and down between two points, that is TDC and BDC. On the circumference, on the circumference of the piston, Piston rings are provided. Piston rings are provided, are mounted, and the two grooves. There are two types of piston you can see. See, there are two types. One is upper piston ring and lower piston ring. What is the function of the upper piston ring means? So it is also called as compression ring. See, it prevents the escape of gases from cylinder to the crankcase through the gap between piston and cylinder. So there is a gap, there will be a gap between piston and cylinder, very small gap. So that upper piston ring, it is uh, making a seal tight. That means it prevents, it avoids the leakage of burnt gases from cylinder, from combustion chamber to escape into the 
crankcase lower lower portion of the cylinder through that gap and the lower ring is called as oil ring oil scraping ring, ring. so that function is to avoid the leakage of lubricating oil from lower side to upper side of the piston upper side of the piston means so it is avoid the uh, escape of lubricating oil from crankcase to the combustion chamber combustion chamber so that is the function of the lower ring the lower end of the piston is connected to the connecting rod that connecting rod is connected to the crank that crank is mounted on a crankshaft mounted on a crankshaft just beside that uh, crank a heavy flywheel is fit heavy flywheel is fit so this is the uh, construction part of post stroke petrol range now let us see how it is working how it is working okay say consider the first uh, diagram okay that is suction stroke suction stroke say in this now there are four operations suction compression expansion and exhaust in the suction stroke piston moves from tdc to pdc piston moving from tdc to tdc top dead center to bottom dead center from top to bottom say how it is moving by cranking by cranking say how we are starting the engine by kicking say in two wheelers so nowadays so kicking is also there and self start is also there in four in four wheelers and heavy vehicles so only self start so that self starter cranking the engine that moves the piston moves the piston therefore by cranking when it's cranking the piston is moving from tdc to pdc so it is moving downwards so as piston moving downwards as piston moving downwards a partial vacuum is produced inside the cylinder because as volume is increases so volume is increases pressure reduces okay therefore vacuum is produced inside the cylinder by operating the cam the inlet valve opens inlet valve opens and exhaust valve remains closed remains closed so as soon the inlet valve opens that inlet valve is connected to the carburetor and petrol tank okay so in carburetor the function of the carburetor so is to mix the air and petrol in proper proportion that mixture of air and petrol is termed as charge is termed as charge see as inlet valve opens this charge air petrol mixture is sucked into the cylinder is sucked into the cylinder so the suction will continue till the piston reaches pdc bottom dead center so this process is called as suction this process is called as suction process or suction operation or suction stroke see as piston moving from tdc to pdc crank revolves by how many revolution half revolution crank makes half revolution now this suction is completed now come to the second diagram now piston starts moving from pdc to tdc starts moving from pdc to tdc so in this stage both inlet valve and exhaust valve remains closed remains closed okay as piston moving upwards from pdc to tdc the charge inside the cylinder get compressed get compressed so as it reaches tdc the compression becomes maximum the compression becomes maximum okay say for petrol engine for petrol engine the compression ratio is ranges from 7:1 to 11:1 okay seven is to 1 to 11 is to 1 this is the compression ratio for petrol engine okay so as piston reaches to the tdc the compression will complete compression will complete so during this stroke crank makes another half revolution crank makes another half revolution now the third point third diagram see as in compression as piston reaches tdc 
the compression becomes maximum. At that stage, a spark from spark plug is come in contact with that compressor charge. A spark is issued from the spark plug, so that come in contact with the compressor charge. So as it contacts and the spark is contact the compressor charge, what happens? So sudden ignition takes place. Sudden ignition of the charge takes place. Sudden ignition of the charge takes place. So due to ignition, very high pressure gases, very high power energy, very high temperature of gases released. Released. Okay. So due to sudden uh, ignition, the gases produced, they are acting, they are exerting force on the piston. Force on the piston. Therefore, piston pushes downwards from TDC to BDC. Okay. So this process is called as expansion. Expansion. This stroke is termed as expansion stroke. This operation is called as power stroke. Power stroke or working stroke. See, in which stroke the fuel is injected and burned, that is called as power stroke. Power stroke. Okay. Now, at very great force, the piston is pushed downwards. So, here in this stroke, very high energy is released. This high energy, this excess energy, is stored in the flywheel. Okay, the flywheel is fitted just beside the track. So, what is the purpose of the flywheel? To reserve the energy, to store the excess energy. Okay, now the excess energy is stored in the flywheel. Now, the fourth diagram, you can see the fourth operation called as exhaust stroke. During this stroke, the piston is moving from PDC to TDC, PDC to TDC by utilizing the energy stored in the flywheel. By utilizing the energy stored in the flywheel. Now, in this stage, the inlet wall closes, inlet wall remains closed, and exhaust wall opens. Exhaust wall opens. So, as piston moving upwards, okay, the burnt gases, the burnt gases in the cylinder are pushed out of the cylinder or exhausted out of the cylinder. So this is called as exhaust stroke. Again, as piston reaches TDC, the cycle will repeat from section. Again, fresh charge is drawn into the cylinder. Again, compression takes place. Again, ignition takes place. Expansion takes place. And exhaust takes place. See, these four operations, what I explained, what you have seen, this takes place in very fraction of seconds. In very fraction of seconds. So we heard the uh, noise of the engine, okay, but, 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 see, one but is called as one cycle, but, 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 one, one cycle, okay, one but is one explosion, one ignition, but, 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 you can count how many number of uh, explosions, uh, cycles are there, uh, power strokes are there, one but means that is one power stroke, okay, but, 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 so it takes place in very fraction of seconds. Okay, so this is the uh, working of uh, two four stroke petrol engine. Four stroke petrol engine. Okay, see this um, very interesting to understand. Now, uh, first of all, see by explaining or by observing first time, sometimes you will you, you may confuse, but you make a group discussion, then you will clearly understand the operation of the petrol engine. See, uh, it will be very proud to feel. Once you understand this mechanism, uh, you will feel proud about yourself. Okay, uh, uh, the operation is such a uh, very peculiar. <coughs> okay, so this is because working of post stroke petrol engine. So below that, the theoretical PV diagram is there. Okay, so it therefore is called as constant volume. Cycle constant one that means heating is taking place at constant one. Okay, now <clears throat> we'll see first of diesel engine.
four stroke diesel engine. How diesel engine is working? See, the construction, everything is remain same, similar to the petrol engine. The construction wise, the four stroke diesel engine is exactly similar with very, very small difference. With very small difference, it's also considered cylinder, cylinder head, inlet valve, the exhaust valve, piston, connecting rod, crank, crankshaft, etc. Okay, only the main difference in construction instead of spark plug in the case of four stroke petrol engine, the diesel engine is fitted with diesel injector or fuel injector. Fuel injector. Fuel injector. Diesel injector or fuel injector. Yes, you can see. That is also uh, looks like the same spark plug, but it is a diesel injector. Diesel injector. So, uh, as a construction wise, this is also uh, similar to the uh, diesel engine, sorry, petrol engine. Okay. Then we'll see how diesel engine is working. See, once again, I played the same video. So, this is a first of uh, petrol engine. But you imagine uh, there is no spark plug here, only these are uh, injector will be fitted at the center. So, uh, once again, you can observe the operation of moment of piston. Uh, let me see uh, how it is moving during such a stroke, how emission takes place, how products of combustion are exhausted out, etc. Okay, four stroke diesel engine. How it is working? Say, first of all, consider suction stroke. Suction stroke. So, during this stroke, piston is moving from top dead center to bottom dead center by means of cranking. Okay. Now, as piston moves downwards, a partial vacuum is produced inside the cylinder and inlet valve closed and exhaust valve remains closed. Okay. So, as soon the inlet valve opens due to pressure difference between inside the cylinder and outside, the atmospheric air, understand here, atmospheric air, only air is entering into the cylinder. Atmospheric air is entering into the, into the cylinder through the air filters and through inlet valve. So, this suction will take place till the piston reaches BDC. So, during this room, crack makes of revolution. This is called as suction stroke. And the next operation is compression. So during this operation, inlet valve remains closed and the exhaust valve also remains closed. And piston starts moving from BDC to TDC. So as piston moving from BDC to TDC, the air drawn into the cylinder get compressed. Get compressed. And as piston reaches TDC, the compression becomes maximum. Compression becomes maximum. See, in diesel engine, the ratio of compression is ranging between 11 is to 1 to 22 is to 1. See, the compression ratio is more in diesel engine. In diesel engine. So, whenever the compression becomes maximum, the temperature of the compressed mass also increase. <coughs> As 
piston reaches steady state as piston reaches steady state the compression completes and the compression becomes maximum at the end of compression at the end of compression a definite quantity of diesel is injected into the cylinder is injected into the cylinder in the form of fine spray in the form of fine spray just like our deodorant you can see okay so how our deodorant spray it is very tiny tiny particles okay it is a cloud of ma ma this one moisture so such a fine spray is injected is injected into the cylinder so the diesel is mixes with the hot compressed air hot compressed air so the heat of compression of that hot gas is sufficiently high to ignite the fuel ignite the fuel therefore self ignition takes place by using the heat of compression therefore very high pressure gas is released that exert the force on the piston okay therefore piston pushes from kdc to kdc this operation is said to be working stroke or expansion stroke so during this stroke high power released it is excess power released is stored in the flywheel is stored in the flywheel so during this the crank makes another off revolution now piston reaches bdc in this position both in this position inlet valve closes and exhaust valve opens okay now piston starts moving from bdc to tdc by using the energy of flywheel by using the energy of flywheel therefore the burnt gases in the cylinder they are expelled out exhausted out and pushed out of the cylinder through the exhaust valve okay and this process will continue till the piston reaches tdc then the cycle repeats again inlet valve opens piston moving from bdc to tdc to bdc so once the engine starts means so uh, the energy for all these operations is supplied by the flywheel itself flywheel itself okay due to that torque so from all this above four operations the crank is revolved by two revolutions crank makes two revolution that means you understand working cycle is completed by two revolution for one power stroke there will be two revolutions of the crank so this is working of four stroke diesel engine okay so what is difference between four stroke and two stroke so during suction in petrol engine air and fuel mixture air and petrol mixture is entering whereas in diesel engine during suction only air is entering or only air is entering into the cylinder this is a very important cet question also during suction of the diesel engine dash entry into the cylinder only air your answer is only air okay so in petrol engine during suction during suction a dash will enter into the cylinder charge air petrol mixture is entering into the charge so petrol engines are fitted with spark plug and diesel engine is fitted with diesel engine okay so uh, diesel engines therefore regarded as self ignition or compression ignition engines ignition engines so because a uh, spark plug is used therefore it is called as spark ignition engine so this is about construction and working of four stroke diesel engine so in examination this question is frequently appearing so with neat sketch explain construction and working of four stroke petrol engine or diesel engine for about 10 marks so what you have to do so you practice the diagrams practice the diagram very neatly okay and label the parts one or two times if you not practice means you cannot write directly in examination that need figures because the time management is also very important um and don't waste on random time just by writing this four diagrams for 20 or 30 minutes no so you should be finished so this 10 marks problem we have within uh, so 7 8 minutes so uh, that is the time management in the examination okay i hope you understand how to uh, the uh, working of four stroke petrol engine and diesel engine okay now we'll see construction and working of two stroke petrol engine 
construction and working of two stroke petrol engine okay so uh, this uh, petrol engine is built after four stroke petrol engine after four stroke engine that means in 1878 in 1880 the, the first uh, uh, working two stroke uh, engine is built by uh, Dugard Clerk Dugard Clerk is a Scotland engineer okay see you can observe the diagram of uh, two stroke petrol engine here that two stroke petrol engine is consists of a cylinder consists of a cylinder you can see okay cylinder head cylinder head and piston connecting rod crank etc see the, the cylinder there are two three passages are there they are called as ports okay on the circumference of the cylinder three holes are made they are called as ports at one side there are two ports one below the another so the above port is called as exhaust port now just that uh, below the exhaust port it is called as inlet port ip shortly called as ip say exactly diametrically opposite to these ports there is another port another passage is there that is called as transport port tp transfer port you can see see that transfer port is connected to the cylinder as well as crankcase at the bottom of the cylinder it is fitted with a gas tight spherical vessel that is called as crankcase spherical vessel that is crankcase that crankcase accommodates crankshaft crank crank and crankshaft so just beside that crank flywheel is fitted so flywheel is fitted on the cylinder head spark plug is fitted spark plug is fitted there is no valves in this two stroke engine see the piston on the piston uh, there is one projection type uh, this one uh, projection you can observe so that is called as deflector or hump deflector or hump so before understanding this so let us have a video okay so you watch this video clip i will come back See, observe students carefully how it is working, how the piston is moving. So it is a very simple animation. You can easily understand uh, the working of two-stroke engine. See, it consists, you can see the inlet port, exhaust port, transfer port and crankcase crank crankshaft connecting rod piston spark plug okay see it is very uh, it has to understand very carefully these operations because all are taking place almost simultaneously See, in two-stroke engine, the cycle is completed by two strokes of piston, two strokes of piston. That means, see, in each stroke, two operations has to take place. In each stroke, two operations, okay, suction and compression, one stroke, and expansion and exhaust in another stroke. See, observe how through transfer port, how, how the uh, charge is entering into the cylinder and fresh charge, how entering into the crankcase first. Okay. See, I think you observed that video and, and uh, you got some idea about working.
Now, let us understand. See the construction we have seen. Now, let us understand how two stroke petrol engine is working. How two stroke petrol engine, how the working cycle is completed by two strokes of piston. First, let us take the beginning stroke. Now, this is also consists that top dead center and bottom dead center. Now, at the beginning stroke of the first stroke, you see, so where the piston is at TDC. Piston is at TDC. Now, the piston is moving downwards. Piston is moving downwards. So, as piston moving downwards, as piston moving down, see, it can be explained in two methods, upward stroke and downward stroke, inward stroke or outward stroke. See, so in different books, it is explained in different manners. Okay. So, now let us understand. Now, consider the piston is moving from TDC to PDC. TDC to PDC. So, as piston coming down, so the exhaust port is uncovers. Exhaust port is uncovers. As further movement of the piston downwards, downwards, the transport port, the transport port TP is opens. As soon as the transport port opens, the air and petrol mixture in the crankcase is rushing into the, or it is entering into the cylinder. So it is already some air and petrol mixture is there in the crankcase. Okay. Now, as piston coming down, downwards, so the air and petrol mixture in the crankcase is get compressed. As the outlet, as the transport port opens, as TP opens by the piston, the air and petrol mixture inside the crankcase is suddenly entering into the cylinder. Is suddenly entering into the cylinder. So this is called as suction. Suction. Okay. At the same time, the burnt gases produced in the previous cycle, they are exhausted to the atmosphere through the exhaust port EP. Exhaust port EP. Exhaust port EP. Okay. Now, piston coming downwards. Piston comes to and reaches to BDC, BDC, okay. So during this stroke, there are two operations takes place. There are two operations takes place, that is, so suction and exhaust, suction and or expansion or exhaust, whatever. Okay, now think that piston is moving from BDC to TDC, BDC to TDC, okay. So as piston moving from BDC to TDC, a partial vacuum is produced inside the crankcase. Because it's a sealed crankcase, a partial vacuum is produced inside the crankcase. As soon as it is moving upwards, the inlet port opens by the uncovers by the piston. So as piston uncovers the inlet port, IP, the inlet port is connected to the carburetor and petrol tank. Okay. So in carburetor, the air petrol mixture will be there. Due to the pressure difference, as soon as the inlet port opens, the charge, the mixture of air and petrol is sucked into the crankcase, is sucked, is drawn into the crankcase to the inlet port, inlet port. Okay. So at the same time, as piston moving upwards, as piston moving upwards, the air and petrol mixture that is charged, it is already there in the cylinder get compressed is get compressed this is called as upward stroke this is called as upward stroke so suction compression so now the piston reaches tdc now the piston reaches tdc next at the end of compression at the end of compression a spark from the spark plug is issues okay and come in contact with the compressive charge, compressive charge and ignites the air fuel mixture, air petrol mixture and energy develops and high pressure gases releases. So this is called as ignition. This is called as ignition. Okay. So uh, due to high energy, that force is acting on the piston. Therefore, the piston is pushes downwards with a great force, with a great force. So this is called as expansion. This is called as expansion. So as a piston is moving from TDC to BDC during expansion, it first uncovers the exhaust port. 
it first uncovers the exhaust core. Therefore, the burnt gases during ignition, okay, so they are exhausted out. They are pushed out through the exhaust port. Through the exhaust port. Okay. Now, so as it is coming downwards, as it is coming down, again, transport port opens. Transport port opens. Again, the air and petrol mixture in the crankcase is entering into the cylinder. Okay. So like this, this operation and the cycle is going on repeating. Okay. So during this one stroke, two operations takes place. Two operations uh, takes place. And in another stroke, two operations takes place. Like that, see the working cycle, that means four operations are completed by two strokes of piston. Two strokes of piston are one revolution of crank. One revolution of crank. So we can say in two stroke engine, for every revolution of crank, there is one power stroke. There is one power stroke. Whereas in four stroke engine, so the for every two revolution, there will be one power stroke. There will be one power stroke. Okay. So this is how the two stroke petrol engine is working. Two stroke petrol engine is working. So uh, two stroke engines are very high speed engines. Why? Because the power is produced in every working cycle. They are, therefore, the power is hectic on uh, every cycle. Therefore, they are running at very, very high speeds. The two stroke engines are um, uh, usually used in uh, light vehicles. That means two wheelers, moffets, in marine engines, etc. Marine purpose, etc. So these two stroke engines are working. Okay, so with this, uh, I will conclude this session. Okay, uh, I hope you understand about all this and about this. If you have any questions, any queries, or any doubt, you please ask. Okay, thank you very much for watching this session.